guys it's just a quick update let you know we've got another new camera for 2016 now, we've got the you can see that there the SJ cam it's uh, the SJ 4000 it's uh, sort of a cheaper version shouldn't really say that of the let's get to get it under the light for you there so it's a cheaper version of the old GoPro camera now a couple of lads sent me a link of a video they did with one of these cameras was really impressed so I'm going to put a link up on the top corner here so you can go have a look at their video see the quality of the video give them a like because they looked like they were having fun and enjoying themselves and they put me onto this camera so where does this particular camera fit in it's um it's another action cam so for taking action shots and that and it's essentially sort of fits in this is the bullet one that i bought last year uh, this was quite a cheap one it does its job it's okay this is a better quality uh, video this is in a waterproof case at the moment it comes out of case but uh, you've got that with it um, <clears throat> better quality video from this one more expensive camera about just over twice the price about 60 quid for this this was about 25 quid um big downside with this one is it's got no screen on it so you can't really tell uh what you're framing with it you've just got to kind of stick it on there and go with the flow and see what you've got but it's a handy little camera and being cheap if you lose it or damage it it's not the end of the world. A little more tricky with this one, obviously, a little more expensive. But the beauty of this one is you've got a, a screen, you can't really see it when it's turned off, but you've got a little LED screen on the back. So you can frame it and uh, make sure you get a decent shot. Now, um, one, one of the things I'm hoping I can use this for is inside the car, because my video camera, my new video camera that I got last year, is quite big and bulky so when it's sitting up in the corner of the screen it's quite in uh, quite sort of uh, intrusive um, and when i was in wales i had to make a rather ingenious little bracket up and see that that's a quick release mount on there but what i had to do is use two sucker mounts and bolt them together on a bracket to take the weight of my um handy cam so that's a bit awkward so you can imagine if i can put that up in the corner of the screen that's going to be a lot smaller take up a lot more space a lot less intrusive or of course i can use the two cameras in the car to do um different camera views different camera angles which is something i'm still working on it's a bit tricky it's not easy every extra camera you've got is an extra setup you can get an extra camera angle you can get and hopefully make things a little better I've still got um, old faithful this was the second camera I ever had this is one of the little this is a Sony little Instamatic um, camera and it does video as well I started off with my phone then I started using this then I went to a handy cam and then a better handy cam and then we've introduced the um, action cams so um, I bought a package that comes with an extra battery and you get an absolute shed load of bloody different fittings for it from putting it on your belt and various things with to go with all the all the camera mounts I've already got so I've got god knows about 20 or 30 different camera mounts kicking around now plus the microphones that we're trying to improve on and of course we got good old faithful that uh, if ever you get caught short you can always use your phone so we'll give you now i've not really tried setting this up or anything but i'll try and show you the size of the handy cam and why i don't really want to keep that in the screen i want to keep the handy cam more for the main shots and use these ones for the out of uh, sort of wide shots and such so let's see we'll turn it on and you can see now you can see the sort of screen coming on on it which allows you to to think we the camera comes out of this obviously and it goes into a, a, a car mount 
So let's see, let's have a go. As I say, I've not set it up, I've got no idea what I'm doing. There was this one, that's recording. And let's zoom it out. Uh, let's zoom, let's zoom out. Let's zoom, that zooms in. There we go. That zooms out. So this is the, the main camera. This is my handy cam, which is quite a bulky camera to use. And obviously, when you've got it set up in the car with a on a mount, it's a lot of weight for it to sit there, and it does sort of come out. It's right in the, in the passenger's face, so good old Malcolm's face gets a face full of camera. And that's my tripod, another accessory. So the accessories for filming this stuff, there we go, let's just turn that off and I'll get back to that. Um, there, okay, I think that stopped it, and then hold that one, and off she goes. Okay, I'll see how that comes out and edit that into the to the shot if it works. So, um, yeah, poor old Malcolm usually when he's in the passenger seat gets a face full of camera. And you never see him. Now that's another thing we can do is either using the little Instamatic or using the new uh, SJ4000. We can set one camera up on the driver's side of the car picking up Malcolm and the other camera on the passenger side of the car picking up me. So you can see both of us clearly when we're talking because we've had problems before trying to get one camera to catch both of you it just doesn't practically work and then sometimes you want to shot out the windscreen as well so there you have it a, um, I'll just show you how that, that releases there and then the back I'll hold that up so you can see that that drops down and the camera drops out so what I'm also going to try and I don't know what it's going to work I'm going to get one of the old neck, neck straps that you use for ID cards um, and just have it hung around, you can't see it, just have it hung around my neck there when we go to um, when we go to Geneva and Monaco and see what it's like just letting it hang there and letting it record as you're walking around. You never know, you might get some real good shots with it. The other thing of course with it I think, is when we're working on the car that is going to fit into a lot better spaces than the camcorder. You know, when you're trying to get up and get those little shots, you can get this right in there. So that'll be, um, that'll hopefully be another thing. So we're going to try and, you know, get more multi-angle shots in for you this year and uh, improve the quality of them, hopefully. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you through the year. Next weekend, we're doing the engine service on the car, so we will be recording that, obviously. Uh, 10th of March we're off to Geneva for the Geneva Motor Show and then in April we're off to Monaco for the top marquee shows and we're going to try and get plenty of footage of some of the supercars flying around Monaco. So keep with us, keep watching, let us have all your comments, make sure you share, make sure you like and we'll see you again next weekend. Thank you.